Hi folks, today I am talking all about island tub drains. What? Island tub drains? Yes, if you are installing a freestanding bathtub, watch this video. If you're not, you just might be amused and watch it anyways. Janice, you ask, can't my plumber install a bathtub without using this $150 kit? Absolutely, he can or she can, but you will save thousands if you simply use this kit. Hi folks, in case we haven't met, I am Janice T, bathroom design specialist and full-time digital nomad. If you are looking for help to transform a bathroom from yuck to wow, you're in the right spot. Just keep watching. So this is what an island tub drain kit looks like. We'll get into the details of how to use it, but first I'm going to say there are four ways that this can save you money. First is installation. It can go into a regular floor or a slab floor. The second is prevents those warranty calls for a popped up drain. Yes, I'll talk about that. Third, it installs a bathtub really quickly. And number four, this prevents down the road having to cut the ceiling underneath your bathroom to get to it to fix it. Back to that point I made that this video is for folks that are installing freestanding bathtubs because freestanding bathtubs and alcove bathtubs get installed differently. A regular alcove bathtub that you're used to, you know, that also you can step in and it's a shower, that is installed right early in the construction process and it is literally built into the home. A freestanding bathtub actually comes in after the floor is done and the tub is set on top of your tile or whatever your floor finish is. Oh, by the way, if you're here for the first time, Welcome. And if you're a subscriber, thank you so much. So here goes my attempt to explain how an island tub drain gets installed. Yes, there's some images here, but I'm going to do it my favorite, which is waving my hands around in the air. Okay. So first of all, early in the process, the plumber and their team will come out and do the main installation. They're going to put all the pipes for the venting and the drains that take the water away from your home. They're going to connect the pipe that goes underneath the bathtub to this main system. Then they're going to take the bottom half of this kit, which is essentially this funnel portion, and connect it to the pipe in the floor that's taking the bathtub water away when you drain it. That's it. They're not going to do anything else for now. So the rest of the process continues in your bathroom and right up until the point where the tile floor has actually been installed or whatever substrate you're using. It might be vinyl plank, not substrate, finished floor. Uh, and now you're ready and it's going to be one of the last things that happened, but now you're ready to put the tub back. You're going to take the other part of this kit, which is this copper, I guess, drain tube part, and it is attached to the bottom of the bathtub. So now when they come along, pick up the bathtub, it's going to have this little tail sticking out of the bottom that's attached to the drain. I literally, we'll take the tub and set it down and that little tail is going to fit right into that funnel part. No fancy connections required. It's literally, uh, I'm going to say a friction fit, but it is just the dynamics of the funnel and the water going straight down it is going to make your tub flow smoothly and make your installation super quick. I'm going to get into more details of why this all saves you money along the line. But basically the difference is you're not having the plumber come along and actually screw, solder, whatever type of pipe, ABS, PVC, brass, whatever they're using to connect the bathtub to the drain in the floor. Instead, you're using basically, I am calling it this funnel system. Okay, does that make sense? So the number one way it's gonna save money and make everything easier is that this system can be installed in any type of flooring. Won't get too detailed here, but it can easily even be installed in concrete, poured concrete slab, where actually the concrete then is actually poured around this funnel. And it, take my word for it, it's easier, okay? The second way that it will save you money is actually a really big one. Now I've sold bathtubs. I represented uh, Acrotec, a manufacturer in Western Canada. I've worked with the local agency team for Kohler. I understand bathtubs, okay? So one of the main calls we get for warranty for bathtubs after they've been installed is a phone, the homeowner phones and says, my drain is popped up in the bathtub. 
you know, there's the bottom of the tub and my drain's just sitting a little bit proud. So they phoned the plumber and the plumber goes, I installed it properly, it's not my problem. The drain came with the tub, phone the tub manufacturer. You call the tub manufacturer and we're like, guess what? It's not a problem of the manufacturer of the tub. It was the installation because what happens in the good old traditional method of installing without using an island tub kit, everything has been attached together. The pipes are all sealed and attached. So before it is all measured and cut, the tub has been put down and the plumber shakes it and seats it down and gets it as tight as he possibly can or she. And then I would say he, cause the smart women use the island tub drains. Anyways, they, then the homeowner moves in and they fill the tub with water, which is a few hundred pounds. And they get into the tub, which is what? Another 120, 150 pounds being gracious. And uh oh, the tub actually wasn't quite down tight. It just settles a little bit more. You know how things always settle, chair, we sit on it, anything. Well, the tub settles just a tiny little bit. Well, the pipes are all measured and glued and screwed exact. The drain doesn't move. It sits there right where it was installed and it's supposed to be, but the tub has now slid down it and it looks like it's popped up because of a manufacturer problem. Nope. It was installed properly, but the tub wasn't seated down far enough. Guess what? This isn't easy to solve. You have to cut the ceiling of the floor below to get to those pipes to fix them. Oh, did I say I'm saving you thousands of dollars? It's that, or you just live with a little drain that's popped up and keep resealing it and hoping the water doesn't, you know, leak out somewhere that it's not supposed to. So what's the difference? of using this funnel system, easy. When the tub isn't quite settled down, it doesn't matter. You put a few hundred pounds of water a person and it settles down just a little bit more. But because the tail coming from the drain is a friction fit down inside the funnel, it just settles itself down a little bit. There's nothing that is all fixed that can't give. So what happens when it needs to settle? Like I said, same as everything else, in a house, in a car, in our chairs, we get settled, it won't matter. It just slips down in the tube just a little bit more. And you have saved so many dollars because now nobody's gonna have to cut through the ceiling of the room below to fix a bathtub. Okay, I know for a fact that the hardest room to design in a home is a bathroom. It has the most moving parts and it's the most technical. So I strongly suggest that you use the services of the consultants at plumbing showrooms near you. This is not a space to guess and shop by yourself online. To make it easier for your first visit, I have made a free digital workbook that you can fill in and answer all the questions that these consultants are gonna to need to know and take it with you to your first appointment. You'll have fun, you won't be overwhelmed, and you'll have all the answers that they're gonna ask you. So it's free, it's down below. Check the link in the comments. So the third thing, and I've kind of covered this already of why you're saving money, is the installation is so much faster. Instead of paying a plumber and their certified trades uh, several hundred dollars an hour to do all these connections that mm, you're probably gonna hear some colorful language coming out as they're crawling under the tub and having to make sure that everything fits perfectly. Instead, at the end, you have the plumber come along, get one assistant, they pick up the tub and they set it down and the tub is in place. All they need to do that is generally run a bead of clear silicone around the bottom of the tub and it is now installed. Caveat, of course, of course, of course, read the manufacturer's instructions for installation. Uh, you don't want to avoid a warranty. You don't want to do it wrong. You want to make sure that it is safe, not leaking and all those things. But basically, you've just saved a few hundred dollars by the difference of setting the tub in place versus trying to do all those connections that do have room to fail. Okay, 
Number four, uh, the ability to move the tub later. Don't forget, you can always put a design question down below. I do read them and I answer them and I might even make a video about it. So back to number four, you have the ability to remove the tub later. Do I care, you say? Yes, you do. What if the tub is damaged? Um, life happens. What if there's a flood? You gotta fix the drywall or the floor. You want to get the tub out of there. Maybe you just want to change the flooring. Believe it or not, you could do that. Cut that silicone, lift the tub up. It is out. It's that simple. Otherwise, like I said, if it is in standard stick built construction, you have to go in through the ceiling underneath, cut it to get to the tub. And if it is installed in a concrete slab floor, you're not getting that tub out at all. So short version. I think you figured out I have saved you thousands of dollars by simply buying a $150 island tub kit drain. And in case you can't tell from these images, my favorite's the OSMB. They have a fabulous reputation, a good system, but there are others out there and some manufacturers have ones that are proprietary to their own tubs. So do your homework, but make sure that you do not let your plumber install a freestanding bathtub without the island tub drain. I happen to believe that better bathrooms make better mornings and I don't like mornings. I need all the help I can get. So that's why I'm sharing all the advice that I know about bathrooms. I hope this helps you. If you want to know more, click the playlist, subscribe, keep watching. And thank you so much. Bye.